She looked like she got dirty draws in her purse. It looked like she got dirty draws on. <laughs> Up, nigga, you the one with the bag open and shit, breathing all on the fucking shit. Probably eating fries from every bag, you fat son of a bitch. Welcome to generic oh. uh, sessions. G University. University E. I oh, don't know, I couldn't understand it. It's all one word, you know? That kind of thing. It really is. Let's get it. Reaction. You see this E? Uh, shit going on going down at McDonald's I'm saying fight at McDonald's because employee would not mix women's slushy color I a so the uh, Minute Maid slushies uh, fruit punch blue raspberry pink lemonade pretty bomb never had them I've only got them on New Breeds okay so you haven't even got a fresh fresh no not fresh fresh but you know I, I, I'd imagine if you're at the store like customers always right can you mix it so we'll see what happens. Is the customer right? She looked drunk. Hold up. Off top, her whole outfit, bro. Like she's litty in the city, bro. Like she is a wino or a functional drunk or something like that. She got her shades on, her pink bedazzled bag. She got the the the, the drunk gut. You know what I'm saying? She's still holding her shit and assaulting at the same time. Drunk, total drunk. If you're really trying to fight somebody, you're dropping your shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, you don't got no breakdowns. You don't judge people as much as I do. Yeah. Mm. Where is this in America? Oh, it's a good question. It looks like a not southernmost, but like Oklahoma. A, ooh, that's even better. Maybe Oklahoma. I was gonna say I don't know where these states are. You know, I'm better is Tennessee. Like, yeah, I I was thinking Tennessee here. If it was KFC, we'd have to go Kentucky, right? <laughs> oh, yeah. Ooh. Don't touch my boss. Bro, that's loyalty. Don't touch my boss. Hey, and she don't fight at all, but she ate that. She's walking up on her. Like, no protection. Either she don't fight at all. Or she about to give this bitch the hands. <laughs> she does UFC and shit. Her mask is off a little bit. This bitch will fuck the shit out of her and beat her ass at the same time. <laughs> she got a double-sided deal though in her trunk. <laughs> she got the best guy. She's got socks in her shit. I think managers... Are low key trained, they can't fight back because they're literally a part of the company. Yeah, it's like the army, you know, right. property of McDonald's. Right. But I mean, she got socked in her shit, <laughs> right. bro. If you got socked in your shit, manager McDonald's. Bro, you're firing me, nigga. <laughs> but I'm giving hands. I'm this toward. is my two piece resignation. But, hey, 100, bro, with a little bit of honey drizzle off the nose. <laughs> Hey, but I would always bring, like, my burner to work and shit like that. Because, bro, you know, mass shootings been ramping up and shit. Like, if something happens, like, you know, I was working at T-Mobile, dog. I was scared of where that was going to be. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> well, I, was just, I was just a little scared of where that was going. Oh, yeah, nah. <laughs> okay. I was like, with the YouTube, I was like, oh, shit. Yeah, no, nah, I used to bring it to work, bro. Because, you know, I'm working at T-Mobile at the movies. You never know what's going to happen, bro. There's mass shooters, the movies, the dark night, that shit that just happened. You know, so just always be ready. Like you don't know what this bitch got in these bags, what kind of uh, uncovered needles that she got on her. She looked like she might have a needle or two. You know, I don't know what kind of blood she got. I don't want her to have no open wounds. Are her touching looks, like thicker? I mean, I, it all depends. I mean, if you fat, you fat. You know, if you eating KFC every day, whether it's <laughs> once a week. Or, uh, right, McDonald's, right. Right. I mean, she wanted the slushy with the two flavors. <laughs> And she already got a drink in her hand. What's that? Been up all day on these drugs. She's on meth then. Ooh, she hit her again. Yeah, she might. Five seconds. Sorry. They all this fuck Spokane, nigga. Yeah. Hmm. Forty-five seconds. 
That was me in 7 Eleven. Look at Ellen DeGeneres. She looked like she got dirty draws in her purse. She looked like she got dirty draws on. <laughs> Bro, she looked like she got no draws on and dirty butt cheek. <laughs> brown water. Too much brown water. You got to be careful out here. Yep. You know, when in doubt, get you some, get you some clear water. <laughs> it's the longest three minutes of my Long life. Work. Don't touch my boss again. Whatever. What? Please. What the f Look like Franklin's mom off a of snowfall. Ooh. Karen. Ooh, 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 yes. Mm, ooh. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. Oh my god, I, I'm not, I shouldn't be excited about this. This is fucked up. You already got the hands. Oh, the cops are here already? Oh, this is a white place. Hot damn. Hot damn. The officer was touching my ass. <laughs> damn, son. Yeah, bro. Um, I don't know what they putting in those slushies in that town. But you know, you know, McDonald's are privately owned. So, <laughs> it's possible that there's a conspiracy going on because she was obviously batshit crazy. We're about to get shout out, man, bro. Shout out to everybody that's been rocking with us. We got our loyal, you know, 10 to 20 folks. Thank you. It's just a foundation. We starting out. We probably know most of y'all niggas, you know. So, much appreciated even more because it's the people that know you that don't support you, right? So, appreciate y'all, family. Thanks. Going on a vicious attack all over. Get this. A slushy? Yeah, earlier today she was in court. We got a black person no reporting on this. Good evening, I'm Tiffany Tucker. How do I know? Evening off. Can you just tell by voice? She faced a judge with a face full of tears. Our senior New Yorker was in court. So they doubled up, bro. First of all, when I first heard the voice, I didn't assume it was going to be a black person, but when I heard the voice, I was like, that's a black person. Then I remembered, like, oh, usually they put a black person, like, when they report in Tacoma, oh, it's going to be a black person. Shooting, black bro, person. Jesse Jones, dog, you see? Oh, bro, every hood situation, bro. Jesse Jones. That landed her in jail next to the Hamburglar, see ya. Hamburglar. Tiffany Hamburglar, Ronald McDonald, Grimace, the whole crew. Listen, this video's gone viral. And it all started when that woman asked the employees to mix three flavors of slushy. When they told her they couldn't, she jumped behind the counter and got violent. You hit me Take a look at this video. That's Sharice Cleveland losing it Monday morning after McDonald's employees told her they couldn't fulfill her drink order. Three different slushy flavors mixed together. On some fucked up shit, like on some white supremacy shit, and tell me if I'm reaching. Because you know I'm not usually like this, but they, it was racist for them to not give her the drink. It's racism because they control the system at McDonald's. I'm pretty sure if, you know, a white man came in and asked for the mixed slushy. Now, maybe I'm, maybe I'm assuming. Maybe it's company policy. But I, I'm assuming that if a white man came and asked for the mixed drink, she'd be like, oh, we don't usually do that. But, you know, I got you real quick. So there's that, number one, right? Provoke her, right? Like a lot of these people that are getting shot. Jump behind the counter and started an all-out She didn't jump. She walked and slapping workers in See? the face. This is cell phone. This is a teleprompter. Ryan Allen, who started rolling when things got violent. When you're in public, uh, you have to be head, so bro. careful um, because somebody always has a camera. He also yeah. rolled on the workers overkill. Like, themselves. is this Here's pause, please, bro? So the the worker, as a black man, probably would be charged. The worker needs to be charged. It's overkill, bro. Once the person's done and beat up, like you're, she's already down on the ground. Your coworker's there holding her down. She's subdued. You're still stalking bro, her. Bro, is it? 
should it be that we should charge them or should it be yo we need to stop charging the the victim no well the black hawk or who who does that and gets charged for or, that should be the solution not so stop charging them but yeah. i mean but it's overkill bro like i mean maybe i'm biased then maybe i'm biased then like when you're when your gentleman's going and you're in a fight bro like it's kind of hard to stop when you're in the zone right. i feel it but also at the same time like i'm not built to keep punching somebody when they're down I nigga, feel that. you know, get back up, nigga, so I can give you some more, or just stay your ass there. She's on, she's, 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 she's do. she can't even fight back. She's got, she's getting jumped right now, basically. Right. Like, very light jumping, but, <laughs> you know, we gonna get through this video, I need some water, but my lips, ugh, dry. They try to restrain her. This they try to restrain? Jumped over the counter, restrain? And has made headlines around the world. Let's, let's break that down. Bro. The copy, bro. Copy is the the words that you hear and see on television, on media, right? The way it's designed, bro. It's really psychological. It's definitely they, programming. It's programming. Thank you, bro. It's like code, bro. They said she jumped over the counter. She walked over the counter, walked past the counter. They said they were trying to restrain her. They were holding her head, beating her, pummeling her and shit. Bro, this is a teleprompter, mind you. This is not the journalist that wrote this. She didn't write this shit. She's reading off a motherfucking. Well, I this hope crazy. She didn't write this shit. This crazy. I mean, I'm just. She's still wrong. She's still wrong. It's crazy. Police arrested Sharice Cleveland on assault charges, and she was booked into the Portage County Jail. Tuesday afternoon. Her name is Sharice Cleveland, uh, 156, and they're in Ohio. Mm. This is a fake news story, huh? This is a fake news story. Did uh, we just find fake news? You think so? Yeah, the names are kind of crazy. It might be, but this is pretty good, nigga. It is. Like, why is the home dude just filming the shit? Like, he he seems so ready. Like, just but he right. got, but no, but he got it after the shit started, though. She was already back on the counter and yeah, shit. You know what I'm saying? Sure. He was like, "Oh shit, let me record this." I hear you. Sharice Cleveland faced a judge via teleconference, trembling, crying, and grimacing with remorse. <laughs> the prosecutor told the judge Cleveland. Hey, stop crying! What you crying for? I just want to apologize for talking back. Uh, uh, uh. Give me something to cry about. My mom used to say, "I'm gonna give you something to cry about." Like motherfucker, you already done with me. I'm already crying. Uh -huh. like, damn, man. Hey, when I turned seven, though, I turned around and I was like, that didn't hold. She couldn't whip me the same mm. ever since. Three years later, I was living at my dad's. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it looks like a real news to me. 19 app, blah, blah, blah. I mean, but it probably is like, you know, not fake news, but it's really, it's they produced. planned the story. They might have yeah. ran through the story before and was like, all right, you no know, practice run. You know what I mean? We're doing exactly what I said. We People need to stop. What? questioning all journalists you have to why yeah. not why not bro question every fucking thing you see in here bro including your own thoughts nigga mm. but you got to be inquisitive dog you got to make sure the, your next move is your best move not right. just say it because it sound cool actually really be evaluating and reflecting it's, on it's what also you're doing just natural too like bro why are you giving me this information is always a question that you ask Doesn't yeah matter what situation it is i don't watch the news hmm See, but even when people give you information, you know, they're like, why are you giving me this news? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Why are you, you always ask for? that. Yeah. What are you telling me for? Man? Mm -hmm. Like, oh, man, you know, so, so. sometimes you already know the answer. Like, why are you, they're telling you? Sometimes it's like, what, what the fuck? Like, you're just like, what the fuck do you want? Yeah, bro, they want your attention. Right. Just like these newscasters, they want your attention. You got to be careful about why people want your attention, why people are trying to get your attention. Are they really there? You know, because I care about you, or is it they just want your attention to distract you from something, or distract you towards something, or away from something, you know? Think about that, man. Y'all live in peace. Appreciate y'all. Much love, family. See y'all next time. Thumbnail. Oh, he's gone and shit. <laughs>